Hello again. Welcome to the Bible for everyone. We're in Matthew chapter 8. Today we're beginning at verse 28. It's one of those stories that when we come to read it, we'll think, wow, that's a little bit strange. It's a little bit unusual. Weird things happen. Maybe keep a lookout uh, on this channel uh, and I might be able to explain a little bit more at some time about some of what's going on. Just think, remember at the moment um, that Jesus is Jewish. His disciples are Jewish. They have restrictions on things that they can eat. And one of the big restrictions is on pork, anything to do with pigs. They're not allowed to go near or touch because they're unclean animals. Jesus in today's story travels to a different area. He travels outside Israel into something called the Decapolis, the place of the ten cities. It's a Gentile area, a non-Jewish area where they keep pigs. But something weird happens. Let's read today's story. So he went across to the other side, to the region of the Gadarenes. Two demon-possessed men met him. Coming out of the tombs, they were very violent and made it impossible for anyone to go along that road. What is it with us and you? they yelled. You, son of God, have you come here to torture us ahead of the time? Some way off from where they were was a large herd of pigs feeding. If you cast us out, the demons begged Jesus, send us into the herd of pigs. Off you go then, said Jesus. So the demons went out of the men and into the pigs. Then and there the entire herd rushed down the steep slope into the lake and were drowned in the water. The herdsmen took to their heels. They went off to the town and told the whole tale, including the bit about the demon-possessed men. So the whole town came out to see Jesus for themselves. When they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. He was costing them herds of pigs. Of course they wanted him to leave. What they didn't see was what was really going on. Jesus bringing healing and wholeness and completeness to people who needed it. People bringing shalom, the right way to live. People receiving and entering into his kingdom to live life in all its fullness. And he was doing that maybe in ways they didn't expect. Maybe in ways that they thought were strange. But he was bringing that wholeness and completeness to everyone that he met. Even these demon-possessed men who were healed when Jesus spoke. Grace and peace, everyone.